Yeah, I, I don't think there was ever going to be anything else I wanted to do. Um, as a child, I was always um, laid on the floor drawing fish and animals and boats. And then, and then I did a foundation course in art and design at Bradford Art College. Um, then went on to Newcastle for a degree in graphic design. And then I went to work in London in advertising. Came back to Yorkshire after about eight years and started a small design consultancy in Beverly. Um, so images and the sense of design has, has always been fundamental to my work. Uh, the landscape for me, it, it's, it, one, it's my subject matter. Um, I, f I really feel at home and rooted to the northern landscape. And I consider the work a bit of a celebration of place. Because of my background as a graphic designer, the work is very highly designed and stylized, and it's my interpretation of a view. It is based on reality, but, um, but I've often altered it to suit the design. I'll stretch things, move things around, and I'll, I'll discard any awkward elements, anything in the landscape that jars with me. I'll fine tune it. It's usually recognizable to someone who knows the actual place. People often ask me what, um, what is a vector, and it, it's a bit of an odd one in that vector graphics basically means that they're not made up of a grid of pixels, but instead vector graphics are comprised of paths which are defined by a start and end point. And it all sounds very complicated and mathematical, because it is, but the computer does all that. Basically, I'm, I'm drawing lines and points and connecting connecting things together. The, the other thing about the work is it's, it's, it's highly crafted, which might seem unusual to talk about computer-based digital work as, as crafted, but, but that's really exactly what it is. The, the drawing's redrawn, constantly tweaked and improved. I often lose myself when I'm, when I'm, when I'm drawing, and time just runs away. And I, I love getting into the, into the zone doing that. Initially, there was a bit of a problem with digital. People um, didn't really like it. They didn't like the idea of being, work being produced digitally. But I, I find now people just accept it's a tool for making marks like any other. But having said that, I'm not in any way a techie. And um, I'm quite a slow learner when it comes to learning new programs. It started off being very minimal, just a few colors and shapes, and over time, I've really added, added uh, a lot more lines and colours and shape, but they're still, I still think of the work as quite minimal. People often tell me the work's really calming and peaceful and serene, and that's quite strange really, because I never set out with that in mind, but I guess it's my way of trying to get some peace and order into my life really. Well, for me, the most single most important thing is to actually get out and walk the landscape. I've always loved the water, yeah. Um, ever since I was a child, I've had a fascination with it. And I was one of those kids that you couldn't keep me out of the streams and rivers. We used to go to the Dales a lot as a, as a child. So when I was approached by the Mercer for this solo show, I thought I'd continue this theme and started exploring Thrushcross, Fuston and Swinstead and the dams of the Washburn Valley. Uh, the architecture of the dams, it's just so impressive. The size and scale, it just makes you wonder. I do take a lot of um, quick reference photos. I find if I have a series of photos, it jogs my mental memory of a place. And for me, that, that mental memory of the first time you see a place, it's so important to hang on to that when building a picture. I take quite a lot of reference photos, um, bits of light, shadow, colours, bits of water, detailed study photographs of water or rock, certain rocks that, that appeal to me. Over the many years of working the way I do, I've trained my mind to mentally compose what I'm looking at. I can quickly make out compositions in my mind, what might or might not work. I've managed to create a few new pieces for this and I'm really happy the way things have turned out. But in particular, there's always one that stands out for me and that's the, um, the, the River Washburn at, at Thrust Cross. That's one I'm probably most happiest with. 